Most likely, it will be the GOAT's final World Cup dance. What are the odds that Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo will win the World Cup? In 2022, either Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo might put a shining bow on their careers by winning the World Cup in Qatar. Rarely have we seen a player perform at such a high level for such a long stretch of time. Who is better? Messi or Ronaldo has been a hotly contested topic for almost a decade. The World Cup in Qatar could provide the ideal case for both camps. It's true that football has always featured heated rivalries between players, but the Ronaldo vs Messi, messi Naldo age is the first to be played out on the modern internet. Hello and welcome to Goalside. In today's video, we'll discuss about which team is more likely to win the World Cup, Cristiano Ronaldo's Portugal or Lionel Messi's Argentina. Make sure to stick around till the end of this video. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notifications. So without wasting any time, let's dive right into the video. Despite amassing enough hardware to fill two museums, Messi and Ronaldo have yet to win a World Cup. Messi has won a record seven Ballon d'Ors, Best Player in the World trophies, while Ronaldo has won five, but neither has won the World Cup. And considering Ronaldo is 37 and Messi is 35, Qatar might be their last chance to shine. Messi has played in eight previous World Cups, scoring eight goals in 21 games. CR7 has made 18 appearances at the World Cup, scoring eight times. In Portugal's 3-2 victory over Ghana on Thursday, the team's superstar scored the opening goal and became the first male player to score in five World Cups. Should we expect Lionel Messi to lead Argentina to a World Cup victory? Victor of the Olympic Games, the Copa America and the World Cup? The best potential ending for Lionel Messi in Argentina at this point would be for Messi to hoist the FIFA World Cup trophy. Argentina's all-time best scorer and most capped player is appearing in his fifth consecutive World Cup. In 2006, he made history as the country's youngest ever player and scorer in a FIFA World Cup. Messi was instrumental in Argentina's run to the final in 2014, where they lost 1-0 to Germany. Despite a dismal World Cup performance in 2018, the Albi Celeste is eager to redeem themselves and win the tournament this time around. After Jorge Sampaoli's disappointing 2018 campaign, Lionel Scaloni took over as manager. Since then, Argentina has found renewed success under Scaloni's leadership. The Argentina national team won the 2021 Copa America and the 2022 Finalissima with Messi and fellow Olympic champion Angel Di Maria at the helm. Messi shone well for Argentina at the 2014 World Cup in Brazil, taking them all the way to the championship game before a 1-0 overtime loss to Germany. Messi won the golden ball for best player, but he didn't end up winning the whole thing. Eight years from then, at the age of 35, Messi, still a fantastic player, will captain Argentina while playing for PSG. His last chance at the big one, he says. Messi said in an interview with Star Plus, There's some nervousness and nerves at the same time. It is the last one. Argentinian teams captained by Diego Maradona won the World Cup in 1978 and 1986. At the age of 17, Messi's extraterrestrial talent led Argentina to the FIFA World Youth Championship, just as Maradona had done before him in 1979. Since then, Messi has played his whole career in Maradona's shadow, pointed out as his successor. Even if Messi's club career has been more impressive than Maradona's, the debate would be settled if Messi were to win the World Cup. As for Argentina's chances in Qatar, what does Messi think? I can't say if we're heavy favourites or not. He kept on watching Star Plus. As Messi put it, Argentina's history means even more now because of the way we got here. It makes us a serious contender. It's true that anything may happen in a World Cup, as every game is tough. Winners aren't usually the odds-on favourites. Messi scored the opening goal for Argentina in their tournament opener against Saudi Arabia on Tuesday in Qatar, but the tournament favourites lost a shocking 2-1. In a 2-0 victory over Mexico, the legendary player for Argentina scored the game's first goal. Poland is up next. Assuming Messi and company advance from Group C, they would face the runner-up from Group D, which contains France, Australia, Denmark and Tunisia. In your opinion, how likely is it that Cristiano Ronaldo will win the World Cup? You can't discuss Messi without also mentioning Ronaldo. Pele, Maradona, Johan Cruyff, George Best, Lothar Mateus, Romario and Ronaldinho are just a few of the names that have defined an era in football for their respective generation's fan bases. There have been other worldly talents in football before, but never two have lasted so long at the same time as Ronaldo and Messi, pushing each other to greater heights. CR7 hopes to crown a stellar career by winning the World Cup and establishing himself as the sport's all-time best. 
Portugal's first big international championship came at Euro 2016, and Ronaldo played a huge role in it. Now CR7 is focused on bringing home the World Cup trophy. When asked by Be In Sports if this would be his final World Cup, Ronaldo said, I expect Qatar might be my final World Cup. At the time of writing, Ronaldo has scored 118 goals for Portugal and has made 192 appearances for his country, both of which are European records. Like Messi, he's been in four World Cup finals, but unlike Messi, he never advanced past the semi-finals with the Portugal national team. This World Cup has the potential to be the spark for a new wave of youthful Portuguese brilliance. The Portuguese team has a nice balance of youth and experience, thanks to players like João Félix, Ruben Dias, Bruno Fernandes, Gonzalo Guedes, Diogo Dalot, João Cancelo, Bernardo Silva, Renato Sanchez, Francisco Trincao, Diogo Jota, and William Carvalho. There is stability in the Portugal squad thanks to manager Fernando Santos, who's held the position since 2014. Ronaldo will lead Portugal as captain, despite the fact that the team didn't make it to the final four of the most recent Nations League, and he hasn't had the best start to the season with Man United. His October success in breaking the 700 clubs record gave him renewed vigour, and he plans to charge headlong into the Middle East. Santos and his trusted wingman Cristiano have an unbreakable bond, and Ronaldo will play his best in his final game ever in Qatar. Portuguese soccer will compete in Qatar's Group H. They advanced to the round of 16 by defeating Ghana 3-2 and will now face Uruguay and the Republic of Korea. Many experts believe Portugal will win their group, where we'll see Ronaldo take on Luis Suarez and Ungmin Son of South Korea. Remember that a 2-1 loss to Uruguay in the round of 16 at the 2018 World Cup effectively destroyed Ronaldo's aspirations of winning the tournament. Should Portugal emerge victorious in Group H, they would meet the Group G runners-up, with Brazil being the most notable of those options. The Brazilians are in excellent condition, having won their qualifying group by a comfortable margin against Argentina. As a result, they're likely to face either Switzerland, Serbia or Cameroon in the round of 16. Even if you ignore Messi and Ronaldo, there's still a lot of other great players out there. Kylian Mbappe of France is the defending champion after his success in 2018. In the build-up to this World Cup, Neymar and Brazil have been nothing short of spectacular, with a roster stacked with stars like Gabriel Jesus, who has led Arsenal's resurgence in the Premier League, as well as defenders like Thiago Silva and Olympic champion Dani Alves and defensive midfield maestros Casemiro and Fabinho. Neymar, Vinicius Jr., Rodrigo, Olympic gold medalist Richarlison, and many others will ensure that Brazil's attack strikes fear into any defence. Moreover, England, captained by Harry Kane, advanced to the Euro 2020 Championship game. Even though this paragraph isn't a tribute to Messi and Ronaldo alone, every player mentioned here owes something to those two legends who revolutionised the sport of football. It would be a spectacular finish for either career if they were able to win the sport's most prestigious award. Messi or Ronaldo, who do you think will win the World Cup? Tell us in the comments. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon with the next video. Thank you so much for watching.